A bill that could up your utility fees is headed to the Senate floor. Fox 55's Abby Jackson tells us why protesters took a stand today against House Bill 1470. Protesters who gathered outside the Indiana Michigan Power Building today are encouraging the Senate to say no to House Bill 1470. They say INM is their only choice for power companies and rate hikes could affect low income Hoosiers. No blank checks! No blank checks! No blank checks! Fort Wayne protesters stand outside saying utility companies have them backed into a corner if House Bill 1470 passes. I cannot choose a different electric company if I don't like what they are doing with my rates, so they kind of have us in a pinch. Summarized, the bill amends the statute concerning transmission, distribution, and storage system improvement charges, allowing utilities to file at the Indiana Utility Regulatory Commission for a five- to seven-year plan, and if approved, collect 80% of the cost of those improvements through customers' monthly bills. That just gives the monopoly, um, INM, the ability to uh, pick projects that they choose, not necessarily what the customers want. But in a statement, Indiana and Michigan Power said, quote, serving our customers in a manner that enhances their lives is important to all the people who work at Indiana and Michigan Power. INM works with our regulators and stakeholders to ensure all investments are done with the impact to customers in mind, both in reliability and cost. INM customer electric rates are competitive and below national average. Becky Gonzalez says she just hopes the company hears them loud and clear. We're just tired of them, you know, using us for our money, making decisions without, you know, taking into account what their customers actually want them to do. We're expected to know more about House Bill 1470 by March 14th. In Fort Wayne, Abby Jackson, Fox 55 News.